Today in MLB The Show 24, we learn our ABCs as I hit a home run with the best player from A all the way to Z. And we begin with Ronald Acuna Jr. to represent the letter A last year's NL MVP. And for these home runs, we will be hitting them on beginner difficulty. And I know, I know, look at me. Beginner difficulty, you will be all right. Because we're not looking for a challenge here today. We're just looking to hit a home run with the best player from every letter. And Acuna, even on beginner difficulty for some reason, couldn't get it over the fence. We got to try again. But you can let me know in the comments down below which letter do you think has the best players? Not just the one best player that we're going to use in this video, but Acuna and other A's. Players like Arenado, other letters. Let me know in the comments as we get our first no doubter. For the letter B, it's another 99 overall in Mookie Betts. Also, feel free to track the furthest home run hit in this video. And let me know in the comments as Mookie Betts, did he get it? No, that one's going to be foul for the letter B. And look how empty the seats are at Dodger Stadium. You're telling me with Otani, Mookie Betts, and Freddie Freeman? We have half attendance. That doesn't make any sense. And how am I dropping the PCI on beginner? Somehow I can hit better on higher difficulties than I can a beginner. But let's see what Mookie Betts can do. Here in attempt number two, we're going to get this one to go out. Mookie, there it is. I'm dropping the PCI for some reason on beginner, but there is a no doubt animation. For the letter C, it is Corbin Carroll of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Last year when I did this video, Corbin Carroll was just a rookie. I don't even know what his overall was last year at this time. But this year, he makes it into the video. Is that one going to go deep as part of the ballpark? He smashed it and he got it. Second deck just about to center field. 454 for the second year, Corbin Carroll. And that's the furthest one, I believe, so far. Let's check a replay because he did mash that one last year. I went ahead and used Miguel Cabrera. He's not in the game anymore. He is retired. So Corbin Carroll for the future might be the C going forward. For the letter D, it is Rafael Devers. 87 overall for the Red Sox. Now Devers here at Fenway Park. We're looking to smash a homer. Endeavors. Does that go near the pesky pole? No, it's not even going to matter. Devers, it is no doubt out of here. Would love to hit one over the green monster, but because he's a lefty, not really going to get that chance. 416 for Devers, though. For the letter E, we have Tommy Edmond of the St. Louis Cardinals. So we got Tommy Edmond for the letter E. Now, there's going to be some letters in this video that Tommy Edmond is a good baseball player, no doubt about it. He's not at star level like some of the other players that we've used so far, like Acuna, Mookie Betts, and Corbin Carroll. But Tommy Edmond still has enough to get it over the fence. There are just some letters that do not have a lot of players at them. We're going to use players in the 70 overall at some point. For the letter F, it is double F. Freddie Freeman as a 94 overall. As long as Otani doesn't get kicked out of baseball for whatever is going on with his interpreter... This Dodgers team is absolutely loaded, and Freeman, there's no way we didn't hit a home run. We'll see if the second at-bat for Freddie Freeman's any better. And that one is crushed. Should get out. I mean, I power swung it. We got a perfect, perfect, and it does. Freddie Freeman, Otani, and Betts. It's going to be tough to stop him, like I said, unless Otani gets thrown out of the league for some reason. We got Paul Goldschmidt representing the letter G. Former NL MVP. Paul, oh my goodness, the exit velocity on that 115, Paul Goldschmidt. Second deck back in St. Louis, 417. That had to be the fastest home run I think I've hit so far in this game since it came out. For the letter H, it is going to be Bryce Harper, two-time MVP. Bryce Harper has led this Phillies team to knock it on the door of a World Series championship two years in a row. Losing in the World Series two years ago and then losing in the NLCS. Did he get it out of here? No, it's going to hit the bottom of the wall. We will see if there's a regression with the Phillies this year, but you know Bryce Harper is going to be good every single year. A two-time MVP. Maybe he'll make it three at some point in his career. And we just went second deck with Bryce Harper. And that one traveled 417. It seems like we're hitting a lot in the 400 teens. For the letter I, it is Jonathan India of the Reds. So we got Reds versus Reds here. And Jonathan India is one of those players where the letter I does not have a lot of active MLB players. He has not a very high overall. I don't know if he's going to get that one out. Oh my goodness, is it going to go? Oh, how did it go? I did not expect that one to get out of here. With only 50, I believe, 8 power for India. He has the DH right now, according to the game at least, for the Cincinnati Reds. We'll see when their opening day game is. I think by the time you're seeing this, you'll know what the official lineup is going to be. But he goes 393. For the letter J, it's 99 overall Aaron Judge. Let's hit a monster shot with Judge. Every time I do a video with Judge, and for some reason at Yankee Stadium, I cannot hit a monster shot. That one is a monster shot. Dead center field. I don't think you can hit it straighter than that. 
Aaron Judge off the batter's eye. Come on, give me like 430. 457. That's what I'm talking about. I would have been happy with 430 plus. Normally, we barely get over the wall with Judge for some reason in left field. That one, though, hit straight down the middle there for Aaron Judge. I want to see that one again. Let's take a look. We don't really need the slow-mo. Good. Normal speed. Judge just dead center. Let's look at that line. Are they going to show it? They're not going to show the ball line there, but that one just went basically as straight as you can hit it. For the letter K, I'm going to go with Kevin Kiermeyer of the Toronto Blue Jays. Kevin Kiermeyer, I think, has like a 10-year MLB career, so I feel like he's earned his way onto this video with the letter K not having too many great players. And Kevin Kiermeyer in Toronto here. That's an underrated home run. He went 438. That was a nice swing. Good animation. That went pretty far. The letter L is for 92 overall Francisco Lindor. Mets are looking like it's going to be a rough season, though. They had hopes last year and the year before that. This year, though, not much to be excited about if you're a Mets fan. Lindor, still obviously a great player. Alonzo, still a good player. But I don't know. I guess we'll see with the expanded format of the playoffs the last few years. Maybe they could sneak in. I feel like they have work to do. Lindor, pretty much deepest part of the ballpark. And it doesn't go. Come on, Lindor. I have high hopes for you. There it is. Smoked it to pretty much center field like Judge did. Maybe a little bit more to the left than Judge, though. Off the batter's eye once again. Hit the Shake Shack in center field. 471 for Lindor. How about that? For the letter M, we have Manny Machado. Machado, double M. Manny Machado here. And let's see what he can do. In San Diego. Slam Diego. Is it going to go? Oh, Mike, it over the wall. And it does. Manny Machado just consistently good. Consistently a superstar every year. 421 for him. For the letter N, we go back to the New York Mets and Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo is consistently good every year. I feel like he's still a little underrated. But Nimmo to center field. I know he has his own no doubt animation in this game. He didn't quite get it there, but... No way he's going to beat Lindor's 471 at the same stadium, is he? 426. For the letter O, it is Otani at a 99 overall. Let's see something out of you, Otani. For the letter O, Otani. I think that one's going to go. Not my best swing. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, no, it's going. He didn't rob it. Otani hits his first home run in Dodgers blue. Looking forward to see what he could do with the Dodgers. Hopefully the interpreter thing, like I said earlier, doesn't risk him playing at all this year. For the letter P, we have Isaac Paredes of the Tampa Bay Rays. Let's see what Paredes can do at the trot. Oh my, that is like contested with Paul Goldschmidt. They hit one 115 off the bat. Paredes just went 113 off the bat. I think he hit it even further than Goldschmidt did. 429. Some of these guys' swings just make the ball fly off the bat a lot quicker, or it just seems that way. But I got to see that one again. 429. 113 off the bat. I don't really want to see the slow, but I wanted that real time, just like it was, because that was smoked. Let's see it. 429. You have 113.2 off the bat. Now that we've finished P, sadly, there is no active hitters in the MLB with the last name that starts with a Q. For the letter R, it is going to be J-Rod Julio Rodriguez. Even when the Yankees play them, I don't really check them out just because of where they are on the map. Those games start like 10 p.m. But Julio Rodriguez is probably a top 10 to 15 player in the league, and he probably is going to take even another step forward this year. I believe it's his third year in the league. As he goes 436 with 113 exit velocity. We got last year's World Series MVP, Corey Seager, representing the letter S. I think if you would have told any Rangers fan that after signing Seager and Semyon, in two years, you'd be a World Series champion, and Seager would win World Series MVP and be one of the best players in baseball. At least the Rangers winning the World Series part, they might call you crazy, because Seager was obviously great with the Dodgers. He's even better with the Rangers, brought home his second World Series MVP. This guy is just so good. When you're the World Series MVP, we got to watch a replay of that home run. Just a simple, perfect, perfect for the World Series MVP, and we'll see if the Rangers can repeat. It's going to be tough. For the letter T, it is Mike Trout at a 99. If Mike Trout goes his entire career without winning a singular playoff game, it'll be one of the worst stories in any sports history. This guy was dominant for 10 years. To not win one single playoff game is going to be terrible for his legacy. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. For the letter U, we have Ramon Urias of the Baltimore Orioles. Definitely, like I said earlier, this letter, the letter U, does not have a lot of great MLB players. Not a lot of MLB players in general, and Ramon Urias is going to have a base hit, but not a homer. I got to pull a baseball here. 
I have to pull a baseball here. Even if left field is ridiculously long, I guess we're not going to pull it. And it's caught. Come on. Come on, Yuri. Come on. That ball smoked. Just keep on going. It kept on carrying and finally gets out here. That, for some reason, left center field is actually closer than left field. For the letter V, we have Dalton Varsho, left fielder for the Toronto Blue Jays. Dalton Varsho's got a lot of pop in this bat. Let's see what he can do with it. Back in Toronto here. And Varsho. I dropped the PCI all the way to the floor, pretty much. And he still crushed out one of the hotel rooms. Actually landed in the bullpen, never mind. But that one travels 370. For the letter W, we are going with Bobby Witt Jr. of the Royals. Let's go, Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt Jr. This guy is going to take another step forward this year, too. Is that going to go in the fountain and the waterfall in left field? Not quite. I love this stadium. I want to visit this stadium one day. Kaufman, one of my favorite fields to play in this game and just watch games on TV, too. The letter X is the only letter we are going with the first name, and that is Xander Bogarts. Go, Xander. Three letters to go. Letter X. Only guy with the first name with the letter X. And Xander Bogart sends that one out of here in San Diego. 105 off the bat, 405 feet. The letter Y will still be Christian Yelich at an 80 overall. Yelich. A little bit of a bounce back here for Christian Yelich last year. Not quite to where he was at one point, obviously, MVP level. And even the year after that against Bellinger, Belly versus Yelly. But we'll see how Yelich progresses. Maybe an even better season this year upcoming. As that one's going to be fair? What is that? That is a ground rule double. Struggling right now to hit the home runs, so let's hopefully get that done. Come on, Yelich. We got to get the home runs here. There it is, Christian Yelich. There it is. Got it to go. Smoked that baseball in the perfect, perfect. 113 off the bat for 434. And for the letter Z to end, it will be Sebi Zavala of the Seattle Mariners. I'd honestly be lying to you if I told you i do anything about Sebi Zavala. I couldn't tell you one thing about him, except we're going to hit a home run with him right now. And that one down the third baseline is caught and we're out. Come on, Zavala. Oh, there it is. Look at that no doubt animation. That's a way to send us off right there. Sebi Zavala with 43 power left. Just hit one 434. I will take it for the letter Z. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.